Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we went to the Old Tom's Well where the incautious driver wanted to go. Or, I guess more accurately, the fungus that has sort of taken over their brain wanted them to go. We did that, and then we came back to the nature reserve, which is the fungus's home, I guess. Only to find out that it sounds like the fungus still has more to see before it wants to leave the incautious driver. And for now, the incautious driver just wants to be left alone to think things over for a little bit before we can do anything else with them. So, what I think I want to do is, well, the end goal, or sort of the excuse for doing all of this, is I want to deliver the five ministry-approved literature to Trader's Wood. It'll be worth a pretty good amount of money. And in wanting to do that, I realize that's Trader's Wood is like pretty much on the entire opposite side of this of this map of the Reach. It's huge and it's so far away. So I thought, you know, I could hit a lot of places along the way. And that's when I thought, you know what? I think it's time to do the uh, what is their name? The what signalman? The the fatalistic signalman. I think it's time to finally do their quest. Remember, they wanted six port reports. Yeah, you need six port reports. And as somebody in the comments told me a while ago, you just need to have six port reports at one time. And as soon as you do, you can continue the quest. And it doesn't even, like, consume the reports or anything like that. You just need to have six gathered up at one time before turning them in. So, we get one from here. And I think I'll go to Titania. That's two. The Circus, three. Port Avon, four. Magdalens, five. And finally, Trader's Wood, six. So we'll be able to continue the Fatalistic Settlement's quest and also deliver some literature. So let's grab a bunch of supplies and then go, I guess. Doesn't particularly matter what I get, I think. All right, let's go. What do we got here? Oh, six hole repaired. I didn't know you could get that from those things. I thought it was just fuel or supplies. Ah, just as I was docking at Titania, I got a discontent event because my terror is over 50. Uh, we have a disappearing star. Yes, they tend to do that recently. I'll dispense more supplies. That's fine. Let's get a port report. I don't think I have anything else to do here. I guess I'll just check the store, see if they have any deals. Mm. Oh, actually, if I attend an art exhibition, I might reduce my terror. Attend it? Yes, that did by quite a bit. Ah, they do have a deal. A bargain. Chill, bees. Please chill. Yeah, I, I really don't know what makes them attack me or not attack me. I don't have any Corister Nectar at all. So I don't know why they're sometimes angry at me. A lot of the ones I passed didn't care. These just randomly did care. Can't quite figure out a rhyme or reason. At the circus now. Let's do the new, uh, new arrivals, listen to their stories, reduce our terror. Collect our free tickets. Write a port report. Visit the amusements. Down to 20% tear. Any deals? Yes. That's another bonus of going all across all these places. You get tons of bargains. And uh, at this point, I think I'm going to go back to New Winchester just to dump off all my bargains. And gotta make sure that I don't, like, I gotta break my habit this one time and not turn in my port reports. Oh, we have yet another fungal fragment very close to the location of the other one. I think the other one was, like, right about here. Not gonna destroy it. Um, suppose I should probably just study it again. I don't want to do something different, though. Um, mm, this is about burning it for fuel, though, and I don't really have much hold space, so that's pro 
probably pointless. Yeah, let's study it. Gives us a vision of the heavens. Okay, we got a couple things to do at New Winchester. First thing, dump off all the many, many things we have. Yeah, that's good. Let's repair a locomotive. 18 sovereigns. I could use another crew member. I don't think it's very important, though, just to get one more crew member. It's fine. Uh, we do have this egg thing, though. An egg monger. The sign over the small stall at the far end of the platform is rife with mistakes. How is it possible to commit so many errors when writing the word I... Uh, writing the words I buy eggs? The man behind the stall wears a crooked hat and a tattered coat. He's in possession of more twitches than teeth. Care to sell some eggs, Captain? I buy them. He points to that sign proudly. <laughs> Sell the egg. Hmm. See, here's the thing. I don't want to sell it. I don't want to sell it because I feel like if I keep it with me, it might hatch or something, you know? Like, I don't know anything about this. Why would I want to sell it? It's fascinating. It does take up a hold space, but I got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep it. Oh, hey, we have a bunch of new prospects. Five... Yeah, five, five literature for the circus. And munitions for Port Prosperous Parsimony as chairman. I'm not going to do that one. Bought some fuel and supplies. Let's head on over to where next? One, two, three. We've only gotten three so far. Port Avon, Magdalens, and then Trader's Wood. At Port Avon now, let's write a port report. Shall we spend a quiet day? Not much of a point. I have almost no terror. Oh, right. This is the one to get cheap repairs or buy cheap fuel. Well, I'll definitely buy cheap fuel. Two fuel for 20 sovereigns. Half off. Right. It's the village green for all of that stuff. Um. Yeah. I'm going to save my, my welcome at Port Avon. I don't want to do something at the ruins, though. Nocturnal excavation. 90% chance. Let's do it. Success. Uh, I think we've already read this. Yeah. Yeah, we've read this. Two jumbles of undistinguished souls. Got any deals? Do. I don't have room for all of it, but that's fine. Take what I can, and I'll be off. Now to Magdalens. Got another fungal homestead on the way to Magdalens. A pockmarked homestead with a holy roof and cracked windows. Its inhabitants have struggled through a bad year and will find the next one worse. Trade supplies for bronzewood. Absolutely worth it. Yeah. They're timberers sawing twigs from the great bronzewoods of their reach and selling them to passing traders. They offer several gleaming logs in return for your supplies. So I guess bronzewoods are so massive that the twigs of a bronzewood are basically as big as like a normal tree. Like a normal tree log is a twig from a bronzewood. At Magdalene's now. I don't think I... Yeah, I still don't have any nightmares to treat. My terror's fine. 10%'s not a big deal. Let's get a poor report. I don't think there's any point in going backstage or anything like that, because we've already done that. It didn't seem to lead anywhere. It's just interesting. Ooh. Whoa, this is interesting. Purchase an old journal. The diary of another skyfarer full of dark secrets of a sinful life. 60 sovereigns. 
that's intriguing because I don't actually know what that is. It's not like you'll gain a savage secret. It could be that, but it doesn't say that. Recruit crew. I just need one. That's fine. Let's purchase an old journal. I'm really curious. I hope I can actually read it. The nurses hand over your new purchase, warning you not to tell anyone where you found it. They add that there will likely be more offers like this very soon. Oh, it was just a savage secret. Okay. Another deal? Also don't have room for it. Okay, that's five port reports, I believe. So now to Trader's Wood, where I'll get rid of the literature, and then we'll finally have six port reports. At Trader's Wood, first order of business, let's get rid of the literature to make some room and make some money. 950. Got a vision of the heavens. Uh, I don't know if I've seen this description before. The classicists are delighted, but you can't please the theologians. Too fanciful, apparently. The medievalists cannot seem to come to a definitive conclusion. You're paid well all the same and invited to go stargazing in the pale wood. Actually, I think I did read that. <gasps> Bargain! Caddy of dried tea! So rare. Or I'm just very, very unlucky and never gotten it. I'm definitely going to buy that. If I have the room. Um, let's see what else we can do here. A respite from labor. Offer stable employment. Ah, right. We can probably get the final member of our crew. And I think for free. Yeah. We've already seen that description. Nobody at the camp. It's deserted. I am not doing another expedition. Elizabeth does not want to go back into the woods. Explore the glade. Oh, right, we can get like a little free thing, right? Can't we like pick flowers? Uh, let's write a board report. The woods edge? Yeah, here it is. Gather flowers. Success. Herbs of Heaven, a sack of verdant seeds. Okay, um, and now that we should have six poor reports, let's speak with the fatalistic signalman. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the fatalistic signalman was the first officer we hired. Either the first or the second. The first might have been the incautious driver, I'm not sure, but they're one of the earliest ones, definitely. I just haven't really gone anywhere with their story because I've just waited so long to get the six port reports. Ask if you have seen enough of the Reach. As you stopped at each port on your journey, the signalman spoke with other signalers. He's filled a set of dog-eared notebooks and is now collating their contents into a book. Every corner of the sky. He stiffens as you approach, as if you've caught him doing something he shouldn't. People outside the trade don't understand how signaling works. Every port, every corner of the sky, it has its own signs and messages. It's a right mess. I've been cataloging them. The semaphores, the lamp languages, the badges and passphrases. Not that anyone will ever read it. He puts the pages into his hold all, suddenly embarrassed. Anyway, I've been meaning to ask. Traveling has stirred up old memories. I'd like to visit a friend at London. We'll find her at the Steam and Sapphire Yards. She won't remember me. I should try. London. That's in Albion. Which I'll probably be going to soon-ish. Like, I'm not that far away from totally exploring. The, uh, okay, I'm kind of far away. <laughs> There's some pretty big areas here and here. Okay. Ask how he came to work on the Isambard line. What brought him to an isolated signal box far out in the wilds? Misfortune, I suppose. I tried to join the Navy. I wanted to do my bit. So I go down to the recruitment office, sign all their papers, answer all their questions. Halfway through the physical, the doctor just stops. Packs his things away. I can't admit you, he says. Why not, I ask. 
I reckon I'll exercise a bit, try again in a few months, see? Your heartbeat's irregular, says the doctor. The first time a shell goes off with an earshot, you'll drop dead. And that's how I learned I had a weak heart. Had to rethink my plans after that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's buy as many caddies of dry tea as I can. All of them, thankfully. And, you know, I haven't spoken with a lot of these officers in a while. Let's see if there's some more I can do. So there's nothing more to do with signalmen. Um, at the moment, I just gotta get to Albion. But I think I'm gonna wait till I'm pretty much finished with the Reach before I do that. So that's just waiting. The incautious driver, I could probably speak to them now. They wanted to wait a while before we talked. It's been quite a while, actually. Check on the driver. Oh, this question is, can't do this when you have more than 20 holes. So if you're very low on a hole, ask the driver some pointed questions. Your locomotive has suffered significant damage. Has your driver been even more incautious than usual of late? Ooh, that's kind of a rude question. I mean, I guess sort of fair. They do have a fungus controlling their brain. But anyway, let's check on the driver. Have they recovered from their ordeal in the nature reserve? A final test. The driver picks irritably at their ear. I was meant to be off this train by now. Just go into the well and everything would be fine. Instead, it's unsatisfied, comrade. It needs an answer to something that I can't give it. There's a piece of itself missing somewhere in Albion. Another of its spores sent out many years ago to find the truth. I can feel it out there somewhere, refusing to return. It enjoys its freedom too much. Perhaps if we look to the major ports, they must have left a trace. We have to find it, Captain. Search for evidence of the verdant fragment in London, Perturance, Whirlbury, Juxtam, Mare, Brabazon, and the Floating Parliament. Well, I guess we just learned a bunch of names of ports in Albion. Wait, Brabazon? Brabazon? That sounds familiar. Wasn't that the name that was on the plinths? In, like, the forest or in the whatever of the uh, hybris? Wasn't that, like, one of the random encounters? A bunch of plinths that said, like, Brabazon something on them? So, Brabazon is a port. And everything's pointing me to go to Albion. I like that they kind of... I guess, like, naturally point you to go to Albion. It's not like you go there just because, no particular reason. It's like a lot of the officers' quests and some other things start to point to going to Albion as the next step. Just kind of naturally happening. Okay, so they're done. They're done. Um, I forgot what the incognito princess wanted. What did you want? You wanted to go to Albion, right? I think. Um, Fortune and Navigator, anything to do with you? Oh, this is perfect. I forgot I needed a caddy of dry tea to really get to know the Fortunate Navigator. Well, let's do it. He often recounts escapades from his last engine, but rarely shares anything from before that. Perhaps a quiet cup of tea will draw him out. Quiet appreciation. He clears his desk for the tea set by sweeping papers to the floor. I'll tidy up afterwards. The condition of his cabin casts doubt on that. <laughs> I grew up a servant of the Eagle Con's ambassador to London. His son, Alton, befriended me. We'd climb out the attic window to race urchins together. A wistful note enters his voice. We never won. The navigator trickles a spoonful of sugar into his cup, then another. Could we stop at London? He stirs and stirs the tea. Alton died. I couldn't even be at the funeral. I want to say goodbye, but I'll need to speak with his parents first. Okay, yet another one who wants to go to London. What about the repentant devil? Ah, for that I need two gourds of Corster ne nectar as well as two tea. Or some other things that I don't have. Corster nectar, okay, that's not too hard. I can't do it right now, though. Um, a rat brigade, 
they want to go to, I think, Perturance or something. Um, we... Oh, wait. We can talk with our mascot? Your Blemigan Voyager perches on the back of a chair in the bridge. It's gazing through one of the stained glass windows. Is it bored? Awestruck? Searching for something? Prod your Blemigan. Its focus is elsewhere. You're sure to startle it. Just as your hand closes on the Blemigan, it reaches a tendril out and gently bats your arm away. None of that, it conveys. It hasn't even turned to face you. Hey, that's that's fair. And I still don't have a quartermaster. I kind of want to just go do the chorister nectar thing, but I don't think I can get that anywhere close. I actually want to go exploring, looking for the regent's grave over here, but I have like no room for supplies and stuff. So I'm actually going to go back to New Winchester. Hopefully I'll have some chorister nectar there to do the quest with the repentant devil. And I'll dump off a bunch of stuff, so I have room to explore. So let's head back. Just taking a quick stop at Port Avon. Uh, I've got room for the last sack of verdant seeds. That bargain. And I don't have that much terror, but I do want to get it down because I'm going to be exploring and that tends to generate a lot of terror. So, let's... Oh, right. These don't do much if your terror isn't very high forgot about that. So 17, so with the eel fishers, down to 12. It's not bad, it's something. You visit the allotments, that doesn't actually reduce your terror. Gives you an uncanny specimen. Sit with the eel fishers again? Down to 7%? Okay, that's good enough. Now back to New Winchester. Another fungal fragment. They really seem to be more common than they were before. Study it. Success, vision of the heavens. Just turn in six port reports. Let's trade favor to affect the balance of power in the reach. Anything significant? Stovepipes are still desperate. Tackities are thriving. I'm still beloved, but at 160 now. Maybe when I reach 200, I'll be like a god or something to them. Whoa, an unfortunate occurrence. The locomotive lurches to one side. It may have been a gust of wind, a stray rock, or perhaps just a little incautious driving. <laughs> incautious driving. The curator's egg is fragile and pinned between heavy crates. Check the hold. Nobody will pay you for a fractured egg. A polished stone. The egg has a wide crack down the middle. Something glossy and black sits in the center. Prying the egg open, you withdraw a stone. The stone is darker than black, the color of oblivion. As you turn it, it catches a light that is not present in the hold. It's reflecting something more. It's possible to make out the shape of a building. Vast doors flanked by columns, dual shadows cast by twin suns. It is not a place in the high wilderness, not now. Curator's eggs do not always contain the same thing. If another cracks, something else might occur. Hmm. Okay, so it sounds like the curator's eggs don't have, like, a curator inside of them. Unless some do and some don't. These are, like, these random events seem a lot more interesting to me than just selling it. Let's deliver the sapling knots. Oh, right. Forgot about those. Let's dump off a whole lot of stuff. Oh, I don't have any chorister nectar here. Dang. Okay, so I can't do the repentant devil thing. Not right right now. Unless, wait, can you just buy it at full price from Victoria Market? No, you can sell, like, basically everything, but you can't buy it. Right, well, since I'm up to 2,000 coin, I feel like I finally want to buy this weapon that I wanted to buy a while ago. The Cotterell and Heathersage, uh, Beulah. 
Why should punishment weave the veil with iron wheels of war? A short-range rapid-firing gun capable of quick turnarounds, beloved by the short-tempered and the short-sighted. <laughs> Requires veils at 25+. plus. Yeah, so it's got... It's not that short-range. 650 range instead of, right now, I've been using 750 range weapons for, like, my rockets. It does 5 damage and 8 heat. So low damage, but also low heat, and it's supposed to fire quite quickly. And it's a tier 2 weapon. Yeah. Let's get it. So that's going to replace my emanation. Let's go test it out. So this is my current weapon. My rocket one. And here is the other one. Oh, that is so cool looking. It sounds sort of like a machine gun, but it has a very interesting color to it. It's like this green sort of turquoise. It's very cool. And yeah, the range is really not bad at all. Um, let's see how the speed compares to my fairly fast rockets. Fire them both at the same time. Significantly faster. Hmm. God, I might even start using that as my main weapon. I don't know. I'll just have to try it out. But the speed at which the projectile moves has become super important to me. Let's buy some fuel and supplies. And I actually want to do the Repentant Devil thing right now, because it's really not that hard to go get some honey. Carillon and Titania both export honey, and they're both a similar distance. But I think I want to go to Titania. I'll go up around here, because there's often a lot of hives. So I might be able to get the honey without even paying anything. I'm up around the area where the hives often are. Oh, there's one over there. But first, a homestead. Cold and silent. Let's search it. Success, two crates of nostalgic crockery. I dare you bees to face me with my new weapon. Just need one more. That could be one. You know, I might as well go to the nature reserve while I'm here. Because then I can get a port report plus the not things. So that's 250 profit right there. Totally worth it. One supplies and a fight that I welcome. Let's try out the new weapon. Okay, I love it. It's great. Gain hold. Don't need that. Got a sky story. Let's join a hunting party. Explore the nature reserve. Reduce our tear by a bit. Let's get a port report. Export sapling knots. Do you have any deals? They don't. Oh, right. The phlegmatic researcher I turned in two things last time. Looks like they've finished their research. You left a note at the dock asking you to drop by. A phlegmatic researcher sits alone in his cabin. A pie sits on his table, barely touched. He welcomes you, but sounds dejected. Evil befell my colleagues. My research has been cancelled, he says. And Leadbetter and Stainrod won't tell me why. Mysterious. Tell me more of your trouble. Ledbetter and Stainrod cut my funding and took away my work. He takes an unhappy nibble of pie. They're shutting down research here. The entirety of their production is turning towards Apollonian cinders. And his colleagues. One sang her voice away, and that didn't stop her. A few have shut themselves away with their research. The researcher shakes his head. 
There must be something here causing the fatal obsessions. If you'd help me discover it, I'd be grateful. A calculating look flits across his face. It'll need someone to go into the reserve. They'll have to be well armed. You captains carry munitions, right? Well, these... Hmm, so these obsessions don't... have anything to do with the research being cancelled, right? It's odd that these two things would happen at the same time, but it sounds like they just... Uh, Ledbetter and Stainrod just wanted to focus on something else. You know, like when a company fires half its people and says it's like optimizing its workforce or something. I've gained three ministry stamped permits. Still don't know what those are for exactly, but I've got five of them. Maybe they'll be useful in Albion. And it looks like they need a creative munitions, which I don't have. Discuss the researcher's secret initiative. That's what we just did, right? So nothing new. He seldom uses his laboratory now. You'll find him in his cabin. Lying in bed, his swollen red leg raised up on a mound of pillows, the phlegmatic researcher flicks through pages and pages of notes. Something in the reserve has driven my comrades to madness. He raises himself up to look at you. You'll need munitions if you want to help. Let me know when you're ready. I'll give you the best map I can. I'll have to wait. Yeah, there's no bargain for it or anything like that. I don't have it in my hold. Okay. Let's go back to looking for honey. Loot the hold. Faintly luminescent cage, an uncanny specimen. Oh, sweet, another hive. <laughs> There's an awful lot of bees around, though. Yeah, right now they're not angry at me. But uh, they will be after I take this. Yoink, I'm out of here. The driver's considering the fungal rocks with an expression of... What? <laughs> Recognition, perhaps? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, once again, almost the exact same spot, another fungal fragment. What is it about this area? Study it. Vision of the heavens. Back in New Winchester. I've got the gourds of Corister Nectar and the two caddies of dried tea to talk with the repentant devil. One tiny thing before that, though. Let's deliver the sapling knots. 150 coin. Alright, ask the Repentant Devil about his possible enemies. If he's attracting assassins onto your locomotive, you deserve to know everything. Though he'll see that point of view better if plied with tea. Account of past acquaintances. I've had three particular friends, he says. Two of them, I think, are dead. And as for the third, it would not be her style to look for me. But if I were to trace this matter, it would take me to Carillon and to London. And to the well of the wolf. He catches the corner of your glance. You asked about my enemies, I know, he says. But when you get to be my age, it's the same thing. Wishes to visit Carillon, London, and the well of the wolf. Carillon I can do. I don't know what the well of the wolf is. It's probably not in the reach, though. London, probably where the Baroness of Hell is? <laughs> what a name. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go to Kirillin to follow up on the Repentant Devil's quest.